Hello and welcome. This is Hena Talati, and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. A swath of US East Coast was bracing on Thursday for the second major winter storm in five days while blinding snow, high winds and below zero degree temperatures rolled across the much of the nation's northern tire. Senior meteorologists said a storm targeting much of the east should develop into a first bomb cyclone of 2022. A bomb cyclone is defined as a storm whose central pressure limits 24 millibars in 24 hours. A bomb cyclone which occurs through the process known as bombogenesis is basically a winter hurricane. A bomb cyclone occurs when the mid-latitude cyclone rapidly intensifies or quickly drops in atmospheric pressure marking the threatening of the storm according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Bombogenesis is said to occur when storm's central barometric pressure drops at least 24 millibars in 24 hours. A millibar is a way of measuring pressure. The lower the pressure, the more the powerful the storm. Some storms have intensified as rapidly as 60 millibars in 24 hours. A few bomb cyclones even develop ice similar to the center of a hurricane. The storm could whip up strong winds, pull in more moisture and drive higher snow totals as it heads towards the New England. In the east, New York State was already being blasted Thursday by lake effect snow. Buffalo had already picked up over 14 inches of snow by early afternoon, the National Weather Service said. The heavy snow at the Buffalo Airport this morning has already established a record for the date, the National Weather Service tweeted on Thursday. In the south, Nashville was also seeing snow on Thursday. Snow has spread across much of the Middle Tennessee, including Nashville Metro, and travel is deteriorating quickly, the National Weather Service in Nashville tweeted. One to two inches per hour could fall at any times. The snow band was narrow only about 10 miles wide, National Weather Service meteorologists said. But the storm was an intense record breaker. Many areas, schools including Buffalo Public Schools announced well ahead of the storm that Thursday would be the snow day which kept many families at home and off the roads. BPS announced on Thursday night that school would again be cancelled on Friday as plows worked to clear residential streets. But the snow that quickly piled up on the roads caused problems with numerous cars getting stuck in the roadways, particularly in the downtown Buffalo and in busy intersection of the Chictawaga. The traffic camera showed near whiteout conditions on the throughway in Chictawaga during the morning. The skyway was shut down into the traffic and route number 5 was closed to Ridge Road due to the poor visibility. The storm hit little later than expected. It was initially forecasted to begin late on Wednesday night. But during the night, the strong winds prevented an organized band of snow from forming the Lake Erie, the National Weather Service reported. The lake effect band settled in over Buffalo by around 6 a.m. local time. The gusty winds overnight Wednesday created a CH at the east end of the lake area, the weather services said. The lake shore flood warning was in effect until 4 a.m. The snow band was expected to drift south on Thursday night and remain over the south towns and ski county through the Friday night, bringing 4 to 8 inches of snow to those areas. Thursday was the snowiest day in Nashville since January 22, 2016, when 8 inches of the snow fell in one day according to the AccuWeather. As of noon Thursday, the airport was up to 4 inches since midnight. AccuWeather said authorities in Tennessee urged people to travel only when necessary. Metro Nashville police reported accidents and other driving woes that snarled and slowed several roads. Police reported dozens of the wrecks on the roads by early afternoon. Along the Kentucky border, authorities in Montgomery County, Tennessee were dealing with dozens of the crashes as well, including wreck that killed one person involving a commercial vehicle on Interstate No. 24. 
up to a foot of snow could sweep across the parts of Maine, Connecticut, Rhode Islands, and Massachusetts if the storm renders fast enough, AccuWeather said. Boston was expecting up to 8 inches. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates.